taking a trip. Well, I was supposed to have a dermatologist appointment today, but it got canceled. But I already scheduled to go to New Jersey and Philly, so I'm still gonna go. Um, and by the time I get there, I'll have to go to the mesh yet, so that's why I'm all dressed. This gown is so cute, and I love this color on me. So I'm getting ready. Yeah, to leave. Mm! I just got coffee on my sweater. Oh my god! It's okay. I don't want to wear the sweater anyways. So I'm just washing the dishes really fast because I don't want to come home. To dishes in the sink. I have a dishwasher right here and I never use it. I have to like put a note in my phone to get a uh, dishwasher pods or whatever to go because yeah. This coffee came out perfect. Mine is me directing it on my sweater. Nice and strong and not too sweet. Change. I should put a jacket. Oh, coffee got my stuff too. Oh my god, this is so annoying. This is not even funny. Oh, this is so annoying. But it should dry. Because I, I have a couple hour drive, so it should dry. By the time I get there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to change. Of course, I'll wait until the last minute. Oh man, let me get my back truck in the car. I have a charger on my car, but just in case, I have another one in the back piece to go inside. Because I got to be safe. Then sorry. I'm putting the shoes on. I love these boots. I'm going to wear these heels right here. I'm going to put these on when I get there. Right now, I'm just wearing these sandal things because, yeah, I need to be comfortable when I'm driving. shirt I was, I was testing out everything because just to make sure like i said i'd rather be safe than sorry i don't want to get on the highway and realize that my chargers aren't working so i had to test it out i have to cover my shirt <laughs> you know this morning it feels so good to wake up early. I woke up like an hour and a half. Well, no, actually I think like two hours earlier than what I would normally wake up. And I felt so good. I love the, I love this, like, this is amazing. Cause you're not like fighting for your day. Like yesterday I overslept. But this is the thing, I wake up, no, I take that back. I wake up early, I'll get ready and I'll pray. And then I'll, um, I'll go back to sleep, but today I didn't do that. I had to stay up because I had to get on the highway. But I like doing that so much better, just waking up early and just being up. Because I feel like you have so much time and you're not feeling like rushed. Even though I work from home and stuff and I do my businesses from home, but still, work is still work. And I, sometimes in the morning, when I get up late, then I don't feel like I have enough time. I feel like I'm fighting for time. I don't like that like being under pressure like that. So, the word of the wise, get up early. No, but seriously though, I have read it in books and stuff and they said like um, millionaires and billionaires get up um, early and they're more productive um, when you are get up early. And I do, um, I believe that too. You are more productive when you get up early because like I said, you don't have, you have more time to do something. You're not, you don't feel rushed. Like time is on your side when you get up early. 
opposed to you getting up like a half an hour before you have to work or do anything even though if you work from home still i still wouldn't suggest that getting up a half an hour because you still gotta get up you know get yourself together shower pray do all that whatever you do work out so yeah to go reach for my uh, banana and I realized that I left my breakfast at home. I had an organic banana and I think I made a boiled egg. Those brown organic eggs but I left it at home or unless it's in my bag but it's too far back to reach it but I don't think I brought it. I think I forgot it. And that ran out of coffee. So I'm just going to have to wait till I get at least to Pennsylvania. So I'll be in Pennsylvania first before, well, Philly first before New Jersey. And just go to Whole Foods or 7 Eleven and get a banana. I'm like, oh, so annoying. Of course, I would forget my breakfast. So I just stopped for a little restroom break. I did wipe my drip gown though. Oh, dry fast. What is going on? But, but. Car, no one's even behind me. Anyways, hopefully my gown um, dries fast. It looked like it was like a little stain, so I just wiped it off a little soap and water so annoying it can't bring me anywhere but anyways i noticed that i um i left my p.o box key in my other bag so i am i have to get to the post office before they close because one of the i'm gonna have to ask one of the employees to let me in my p.o box well to give me my mail for my uh p.o box i'm gonna have to didn't even think to get a banana or coffee or anything because I'm just trying to get to the P.O. box before the post office closes because if it closes I won't be able to get my stuff and I'm close really close Like an hour away so I should make it I want to give myself some time I like to have like a cushion hopefully my gown will be dry by the time I get there too I don't want to put a slob kebab or wet clothes or wet gown so I finally made it on time made it to the PO box <laughs> oh my god I'm so happy but anyways I just got my mail and I just had this in here I forgot these are some cargo pants that I ordered from American Eagle a few weeks ago see I knew that they knew me so it would be okay but I still brought my ID just in case And unfortunately, it's raining. Well, it's not raining too bad. It's sprinkling, rather, should I say. And I don't want to put my um, my heels on because they're suede. And I don't want to damage them because I actually really love these um, heels. So, I'm just going to rock out on these flip-flops or buy some rain boots if it starts raining bad. I don't even have a rain jacket on either. Jeez. And I knew it was going to rain because I said it earlier this morning before I left the house. I'm like, it's, I think it's going to rain. That's why I put a hoodie on. And now I have this coat with no hood on. Only me. So now, since I'm here, I am about to go to the Islamic store. I'm going to see Abdul Malik. And I'm going to get a few things from the Islamic store. And then I have to be somewhere by like, I think, four. 
have a little meeting at four o'clock. So I'm gonna kill some time by going to the, going there. But I had, I still haven't even eaten yet. And I'm not even like hungry. I think that coffee like made me feel full. I didn't even drink my water. Now I guess I can drink so because I'm not on the highway anymore. But I probably should get something to eat because. I haven't eaten all day. Oh my god, look, I found the umbrella. I didn't even know I had this in here. Those BMWs look so nice. So my game plan, I probably Go see Abdulmala first and then uh, get something to eat. Or maybe I should go to 7 Eleven and get a banana. Something just to hold me over. Oh, yeah, well, I'm gonna go into Wawa. That I should get some gas. This car is amazing on gas, FYI. And then at Wawa, I'll get a banana. And I have water. So that's that. So I got a banana. And some gas. I really have to go get like a sweater or a rain jacket. Oh, that sucks that I have to go buy one. When I have like so many purpose active, well, I have a few purpose active wear uh, jackets at home. <sighs> so annoying. And I should get rain shoes too, rain boots. My feet are wet because I'm wearing these sandals. So I just made it to the Islamic store and I'm going to go inside and get a few things and see if do a look. I want to see if they have any more one-piece hijabs like this. I love these hijabs. So we'll see. So I just left seeing Abdul Malik. I was in there for a couple minutes. So unfortunately, they didn't have any more of the one-piece, the short one-piece ones. They just had like the one-piece wraparounds. And it's, it's going to be hot soon. So I already have a lot of those. So I'll probably just get one in Philly. Because I know a couple of Islamic stores in Philly. Like on Germantown Avenue that I can go to. They always have these one piece ones. And they have the silk ones too. In the summertime it's good to wear the um, like the one piece hijabs that are silk. Because it keeps you cool. You don't want to be too hot in the summer. Especially if you're like in the south and stuff. Or somewhere where it's really like high heat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have one more errand to run. I just have to pick up a document. And... Alhamdulillah, I get to go back home. I still really haven't even eaten. All I had, well, I did is eat. I had banana. Oh, I had a banana and like a peanut butter protein thing. And I had a um, some water and an ice mochiata. But after I pick up this document, I can get some food and get on my highway and go home. It's been a long, productive day, but a great day. It feels like when I'm driving in through Maryland, oh, that's why, because the speed limit is 50 on this highway. Because I'm like, why? It seems like everyone is driving so slow on the highway. But then I see it, that the speed limit says 50. So that makes sense. when I was coming here, well, when I was coming, when I was going to New Jersey from Maryland, I'm like, why is everyone driving so slow? So now I know on this highway, even though this is the main highway, this is 95, I guess when you go through some parts of Maryland, it's only um, 50 miles per hour. So now I know. So I just went to this American's Best um, Wing place. And I got a salad. He gave me the salad, but I'm, even though I don't like cheese, I'm just going to take the cheese off. Because I hate cheese. I'm not a cheese person. Well, I shouldn't say I hate it. I'm just not a cheese person. And then I got some um, 
obey wings. I can't believe I'm like an hour away from home. So that's good. And I got these obey wings. And the best part is that it was um there are Muslims in there. So it's all halal. Ooh. Which is amazing. And I had to get this because they're about to close. I think yeah, they're closing at 11 and I think it is 11 o'clock right now. But anyways, I'm so happy. I'm going to eat this. So I'm back where I started this morning. I made it home safely at 1 a.m. in the morning. But at least I made it back safely. So I'm just going to get ready and go to bed. I don't feel that tired because I had um, some airheads and coffee so I don't feel that tired but I think once I take a shower and get in bed I'll pass out because I definitely have to be up in the morning well in a few hours so I got the uh, dishwasher soap I'm so excited because I haven't used a dishwasher in years although every place I live at have a dish has a dishwasher so Let's get this bad boy started. Oh, I just pressed start and it turned on. Well, hope all is well. I always hear so many stories about people um, like having the dishwasher overflow, but I think that's if you if you use regular um, dish soap, but I wouldn't do that anyways. Well, anyways, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Dishwasher update. The dishes came out well. Some of them were dry and some of them are wet but they came out really clean. I'm definitely loving this dishwasher situation. The best thing ever.